Alright, today I'm going to be showing you every single rod that I own. Alright, I'm going to start off with this. An Abu Garcia. That's an Abu Garcia with, I think, 30 pound braid on it. And this, what is it called? Jerk bait that I found last night in my dad, my great grandpa's tackle box. I have this sucky rod. It sucks because this tip got chopped off by like a car door or something. Cheap reel. Not sure what it is. It's a Shakespeare. It says it right there. So, oh, this is Shakespeare right here. Shakespeare. It says ladyfish on it too. This is my mom's rod. Oh shoot, it's tangled. This is tangled. All right, I got it. This is an ugly stick GX2 Shakespeare model. Not sure what. Never mind. Ugly stick GX2 Shakespeare. And it's medium. It's an yeah, medium medium rod. And I got an Abu Garcia. Never something something something. It says it right. Shoot. <clears throat> right there, I think. Yep. It's got two bearings in it. It's pretty smooth, and I've got a jerk bait on it. That's it. Found it out of my great grandpa's tackle box, just like the last jerk bait one. And we've got an amazing rod right here. Just got a like a number two circle hook on it, probably. No, not a number two, but I don't a one out, two out circle hook, probably. Probably two. I don't know. We've got one of these weights on there, and I've got a barrel swivel right here. This is my little brother's rod. He's three. Ow. Something just stabbed me. It wasn't a hook either. Oh, no. This is tangled. Oh, shoot. This might take a little while. Oh, never mind. All right. I'm going to show you this one first. All right. This is just... A slingshot Zebco blue, probably. This is a. It's five foot six, and it's medium light. What? Okay, yeah, made in China. And a Zebco slingshot reel. And I've just got. It's ready for catfish because I'm probably you're probably gonna see a video on Saturday. Saturday night or. Sunday morning maybe and here's the one that my little brother caught that small bluegill on last video not my last video but the one where I was at my dad's boss's pond it's got a split shot just free line worms on this little hook I had a number eight hook but I switched down to like a number six because we were at prospect free lining for trout it's got this it's, an, it's just an ultralight this is a Zebco series something. It says Zebco series, and this is an Optics 10 ultralight reel. I'm not sure if it's ultralight actually, but it's a, it's a small reel. This is what my dad uses. He caught those two big crappie on it. It's a Shakespeare. Pretty nice reel. It's a Shakespeare with about six pound line on it. It is six pound line. So Shakespeare right there. All right, and this rod is Shakespeare as well. It might be upside down. No, it's not upside down. It says Shakespeare right here, and it says reverb. A reverb, okay. It's a reverb rod. I'm not sure what reverb means, but it's a reverb. That's all I know. And I've got this rod not even rigged up because this rod is... 
got a tip chopped off of it and it's not light at all. It's like a heavy rod. It's a Vengeance Next Generation. Vengeance and the Next Generation. There's a bird right next to me. Look at that bird. It just landed right there. Alright. And on to this one. Alright. This is set up for the bottom. I'm gonna fish for catfish with it. It's got a stink bait hook. Stink bait worm on there, I mean. It's got one of these one ounce no roll leads. One ounce. My grandpa's home. And I'm gonna show you this one now. This one is, we don't really use this rod that much. It's a Zebco slingshot. Um, and this, this reel is a Zebco slingshot. Push button. Alright, and the next rod is this, um, it's a Matzo, Matzuo, I don't know, it says M-A-T-Z-U-O, and then after that it says M-T-Z-60-2-M-S, that's very complicated, right there, and it's six foot tall, well it should be six foot tall, but it's, you know, it's chopped, wait, Yep, it's chopped like almost every rod I have. And it's supposed to be medium, a medium action spinning rod, but we got a push button on there. All right, and we have this. I was gonna fish for a perch with this for like live bait and stuff. Not live bait, but cut bait at the Sylvan Slough. Have a small hook on there. Don't need really much weight because they bite super light. Normally you put one ounce weights on there when you're going in the river, but I, I put smaller weights on there just because they bite so light. All right, now we've got this shaky head tied up with um, uh, this chigger craw right here. I have to fix it, I'm gonna fix it. I'll be right back. All right, I'm back after that, and this uh, shaky head, as you see right there, shaky head, and then this is the coil is buried in the bait, and there's the chicken crawl. We've got the hook sticking out right there. It's on this super small rod. I, my brother just wanted it. It's got four pound line on there. Wait, no, it's got six pound line. Yeah, six pound line. Pretty, pretty decent reel, but it's just, it's for ultralights, but this is, this is the Zebco Doc Demon. Not very light, but it bends, bends very well. It's a very strong rod. You can catch, there's this one YouTuber, his name is Catfish and Carp, you, you can check him out. He caught a 28. I think, or 26 pound flathead on one of those. They're really strong. And also here's another one of them. Very strong rods. Um, it says Doc Demon Zebco. It's a Zebco. Doc Demon. And got this small push button on there for my little brother. He knows how to use the open face reels now. I taught him. And he, the first cast he did it like amazing. Alright. And I've got this. This is for like my big, my big catfish. This is like a big rod, very big rod. I'm gonna see how tall it is and everything. All right. Yep. So it's seven foot, fast action. I'm. Not, I think it's a heavy. I'm not sure. It doesn't really say it, but this is the Pen Fierce Two Graphite. And here's this very thick reel with a lot of high vis line 20 pound and 25 pound I think and I've got this three ounce no roll lead sinker three ounce right there 
and I've got a small, smaller circle hook than I should have, honestly. I should have, like, this is probably a 4 at or 5 at or 6 at. I should probably have a 7 or 8. Probably 7. I should have a 7. And that, when I have this, I'm going to have this thing on there. It's a bite alarm. So it's super loud. I'll show you what it does. Alright, so pretend your rod's just sitting up like that, and you turn your bite alarm on. There's a little button right here, press that, and like, it's super loud, look at that. So, you put it on right here, just clip it, like a little clamp thing right there. Clip it on right there. Cast it out a little bit. Just for reference, I don't know, I didn't even know what reference means, I don't know what I'm saying. But, tight line. And it's going to look like that. Looks like that, so when you, when you pull on it, very loud, as you can tell. Alright, so, it's just chilling. Chilling, it's tight right now, it's tight. Alright, so I'm just gonna reel it a tiny bit. That's what it, that's what it does. Cause flatheads, if I'm fishing for like flatheads or something, and I'm actually catching them, which I normally don't, that's gonna be good because flatheads sometimes make your uh make your rod just they, they just swim off with the Harley and that's that's how they that's how they tend to bite. They just swim off. They might. They sometimes don't even like. You don't even hear it or see it. It's just your line. That's why I have the high vis line, so you can see it. Like if your line could be just swimming off to the right or to the left, or it could be swimming in, or it could be swimming out. So. And that is all of my rods. Let me count them. There's one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Didn't really count it well, but it's like fifteen rods about. I need more, because half of them suck. Like, for instance, this one. This one. It's a pretty heavy rod. It's got this blue ice on it, I think. That was from when we were catching them on the minnows. We would just hook the minnows through the top and the bottom lip. Right here. So here, like, pretend this is a minnow. Bottom lip, top lip. We would just do that. Through that. Like that. And then we would just cast it out. And then we would jig it on the bottom. And then that's how you would catch the walleye. But it's not, it's not good anymore. It was good for, like, it was one day. We came off the next week end, and we didn't catch anything. And then we did it again, nothing. Did it again, nothing. Did it again, nothing. Did it again, nothing. And then my dad caught one just using the jig, and that's it. Not even the... He wasn't even using minnows on it. <coughs> he just had the... Oh, shoot. He just had the jig on there. That's it. The well, I don't know if it's a jig, but the jig thing type of thing. I don't know. It's kind of like a jig, but a lure. I'll call it the lure. So, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like. I don't even care if you subscribe. I just want likes. Bye.